Leadership is identified by two results. Number one are two things. The first thing that leadership is identified by is a leader gets results. If you tell me that you're a chief mechanic, I don't care what your degree says. I don't care how big your yellow page ad is. The truth is, if they're pulling my car that was worked on by you up by a tow truck back to the garage, you're not a leader. I don't care what you call yourself. I just j jotted down some things. When I go into a closed store, um, how do I say this? I don't want the person who's going to tell me what looks good and what matches. The first thing I do is check them out. And if their shoes are tore up, broke down, scuffed up, colors don't match, got dry cleaning issues all over the place, crazy looking, unkept, and they tell, yeah, that looks good. That looks, I don't want, I don't, I don't, I'm looking at the results. I don't need your help. Come on, say amen, somebody. It's really bad. I mean, results determine leadership. Are you able to get results? The world understands this. The world doesn't hire people who don't get results. <laughs> they will tell you to take your title and leave <laughs> real quick. But in the church, we just let people lead just because they want to lead. We don't do it like that. We judge leadership by results. Secondly, leadership is determined by fruitfulness. Leaders have the ability to produce fruit. A biblical example is Moses. Moses said, you know, I need a high priest and I'm a, God's going to choose somebody. And so I want all 12 of the tribes to bring a dead stick and lay it in the, on, on the Ark of the Covenant. We'll come back in three days and the stick that was dead and comes back alive will be God's vindication of the fact that he chooses that particular tribe and that particular person to be the, the first high priest. They left dead sticks representing 12 tribes. They came back and only one dead stick had come back to life and was budding and had almonds. And it was Aaron's rod. And God said, I am establishing a principle. God said, if you want to be the leader, the leader has to be fruitful. And the scripture said that Aaron's rod budded. Everybody else's stick was dead, but his was fruitful. So God established this principle. Write this down if you're taking notes. You are to follow a leader that produces fruit. God did the same thing when it came to who would lead the world to salvation. Every religion said, we want our leader to lead. Muhammad needs to lead. Or Buddha needs to lead. Or Confucius needs to lead. And Christianity said Jesus needs to lead. And God said, all right, kill every one of them. And he killed them all. And he said, the one that comes back to life that was dead and becomes fruitful again, that's my choice. And on the third day, Jesus rose from the dead. Buddha's dead. Muhammad's dead. All the religions are dead. But Jesus is alive again. He's the fruitful one the first fruits of them that are dead. 